My fellow St. Lucians, tomorrow we face one of the most important moments of decision making and truth. We have the sacred right and responsibility to exercise our democratic right to vote to decide who will govern this country for the next five years. Since adult suffrage, our people have fought for and exercised this right with great maturity, casting their judgment on the performance of successive governments, weighing the strengths and weaknesses of the respective candidates, and making choices. The stakes in this election are high. The responsibility to vote cannot be taken lightly. I invite each and every solution to look deep within and ask himself or herself at least three questions. First, what kind of future would I want for my country in the coming five years? Secondly, from which of the candidates presented to me can I expect honest, clean, capable, and fair government? Thirdly, can I truly say that efficient, honest governance is what I got these last five years under this current administration and the leadership of Stevenson King? The candidates of the St. Lucia Labour Party are humbly offered to you as a team and pledges to uphold the highest standards of competence, honesty and integrity individually and collectively. This election has been among the most hard fought in our history because what is at stake is not simply who will form the next government, but also what are the standards by which our country will be governed. The debate has been vigorous, but we have sought to conduct it with the utmost dignity and respect. I am very proud of my team in these general elections since not only do they meet the high standards that our party set, but they have conducted themselves with dignity and respect throughout the campaign. They have risen above the character assassination that you have heard on other platforms, even when we were attacked, even when the most hurtful and vicious untruths were said about us on the opposite platforms. Our team kept its composure and stuck to its positive messages of hope in the better days that are coming with labor. We told you about our plans to improve the quality of life in all 17 constituencies, and we shared with you our program to build a better St. Lucia. I am also proud of the party that stands behind our team of candidates. We are a party of a now proven track record of integrity, progressiveness, and effectiveness in government. The St. Lucia Labour Party suffered a sobering defeat in the 2006 general elections. Five years ago, you, the people of St. Lucia, rendered a stunning verdict on us as a government. While there were many things about our government that pleased you, it was clear that there were several aspects of our governance with which you were not happy. We have learned from that experience and from that defeat. We use these five years as an opportunity to improve our party and work on our shortcomings. As political leader, I have also been forced to reflect critically on my own leadership and shortcomings. I have a better appreciation of the things I need to improve and the changes that I need to make, and I have started the process of doing so. We used our time in opposition to connect with you, the citizens of St. Lucia, in every nook and cranny of our country, in every community and constituency. You were very honest with us. You told us about the many good things that we had started that you wanted us to continue. Things such as universal health care, universal secondary education, our support for the poor through small projects like STEP, our investments in youth and sports, our commitment toward every single solution, owning a piece of Fair Helen under the Proud Initiative, skills training, far-reaching initiatives such as OPSR to support and shepherd business sector development and entrepreneurship. You complimented us on our ability to attract foreign direct investment 
and the dramatic way that we had been able to successfully bring down unemployment through our economic development program. You also let us know about the things that you did not like, that displeased you. Most importantly, you shared with us your thoughts on how we could make our country better. Our party listened, took note, and heeded the advice that you gave so warmly and freely to us. It has made us better and stronger, and for that, we owe you a debt of gratitude. The decision that we will have to make tomorrow involves not just a choice about policies. It is also a choice about the political parties that have presented themselves to you. One question to ask yourself is whether the current government of the United Workers' Party truly continues to represent the principles and standards established by the founders of that party. Sir John Compton, Sir George Mallet, Honorable Alan Buske, for example. Or have they sacrificed all at the altar of greed, selfishness, and expediency? Many of us would have heard Lady Janice Compton speak movingly about what really transpired behind the closed doors of this government in the early days of its tenure, and the need now to cleanse the United Workers' Party and the country. Surely, we cannot allow this to continue for another five years. We St. Lucians have to decide tomorrow whether we want a government in which everyone abides by the rule of law or one in which parliamentarians and cabinet ministers act arbitrarily, recklessly, and irresponsibly in ways which even the independent courts have condemned. Do we want a government that serves all of the people or a government whose primary impulse appears to be serving themselves and their friends. Our country has had a very difficult last five years. Our economy has been battered. Unemployment is up again to alarming levels. Violent crime is at a record high. And businesses all across the country are buckling under the strain. Everywhere we go, we come across people praying for relief from the difficult times. Our nation is stressed and our citizens are overwhelmed. I am the last person to tell you that the road ahead will be easy. There will be difficult choices and decisions to make. The St. Lucia Labour Party recognizes that it will take a total team effort to rescue our country from the situation in which it finds itself. The problems facing our country cannot be tackled and solved by any political party or group of individuals acting alone. If elected to office, our St. Lucia Labour Party government will need the support and commitment of every single person if we are to succeed in rescuing our country from the abyss in which it finds itself. At the launch of our manifesto, I read the pledge of commitment agreed to by all of our candidates. In this pledge, we committed ourselves to be a government that respects and upholds the laws of the land. We promised as ministers to conduct your business without seeking personal payback. We pledged as parliamentarians to restore fairness, national respect, and equal opportunity once again tonight. I give you my word that if elected, our Labour government will be inclusive in its approach to governance. We will work hard to put an end to the divisive practices of the current administration. From Tuesday, November 29th, we must become one team, Team St. Lucia, committed to the cause of building a better country.
I pledge on behalf of my team that if we find favor with you and we are elected to office, we will govern honestly, fairly, and competently. All of these are qualities that have been absent during the last five years. We will always strive to set and maintain a high standard of governance and will allow our citizens once again to have pride in our country and our collective achievements. I also pledge that if given the honor by our citizens to form the next government of St. Lucia, we will provide inspired and passionate leadership that always places the country before self and sets the right examples for our citizens, particularly our young people, to follow. Finally, I am anxious that as we travel the region and the world, that we can hold our heads high, confident in our integrity and secure in the knowledge that we have a government beyond reproach. I simply want St. Lucia to earn its place as a small but proud, forward-looking and successful international citizen of the world. Our people want a brighter future. They want a better St. Lucia. Every St. Lucian wants to look forward to better days. We believe that with your support, we can create a brighter tomorrow. That is why we humbly ask for your support in tomorrow's general elections. Even if it rains, do not let it discourage you, for every single vote will help to cleanse our nation. Please go out and vote for the candidates of the St. Lucia Labour Party and help us form the next government of St. Lucia. It is time to heal our nation. I thank you and may God bless St. Lucia and each and every single one of you. Good night.